Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the skin, the epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. We talked about the cleavage lines, which are formed by the dermis. Today, we'll talk about skin creases, which include your fingerprints. So now let's get started. This video is part of my anatomy playlist here on YouTube. Skin functions, covers and protects, regulate temperature, regulates water balance, it's a sensory organ, it's a metabolic organ, it's an immune organ. From superficial to deep, epidermis, then deeper, the dermis, go deeper, hypodermis, which is the same as the superficial fascia. The epidermis is made of stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, stratum basale on top of the basement membrane. Then the dermis, papillary layer, which is loose, reticular layer, which is dense, followed by the hypodermis, which is fibrofatty tissue. The cleavage lines of the skin that we talked about in the last video are also known as relaxed tension lines. These cleavage lines are lines along the collagenous bundles of the dermis. You find them in a variety of distributions depending on the location in your body and if the surgeon is smart, he or she should make the incision along the cleavage line to increase the chances of beautiful healing by primary intention. Next, let's talk about skin creases. Now look at your hand, look at the palm. Look closer and closer and closer. You will see tension lines. So these are tension lines and this is a hair coming out. What else do we have? We have papillary ridges, which are your fingerprints. Next, we have flexure lines. These, look at your palm again. See your wrist joint? Atop of your wrist joint, you find this. That's a crease. It's a flexure line because you flex your wrist here. Carpo metacarpal joints, metacarpophalangeal joints, they have a flexure crease of your skin on top of them. What do flexure lines represent? Firm attachment between the skin and the underlying deep fascia. What else? Cleavage lines. These are the relaxed tension lines that we talked about in the last video. So that your wound heals beautifully after incision. Next, stria are also skin creases. We have stria gravidarum of pregnancy. Any obese person can have stria. But if your stria are purple, think Cushing syndrome. But hey, medicosis, why did stria happen? Because the elastic fibers ruptured under tension the tension of a gravid uterus, the tension of your big belly, or because of weak connective tissue. Let me add another note when it comes to flexure lines. You look at this, yeah, these are your palmar creases, the horizontal ones. Look at your hand, you'll have two palmar creases. But if I have one, this could be Down syndrome. A singular palmar crease is a sign of Down syndrome, and no one knows why. What are the pigments that determine the color of my skin? Three, melanin, carotene, and hemoglobin. Many of these pigments are proteins. Who codes for proteins? Genes. Remember, transcription followed by translation. Melanin. Who makes you? Melanocytes. Where do I find melanin? At the dermoepidermal junction. Carotene. Orange color. Or yellow-orange. Where can I find you? Epidermal cells and subcutaneous fat. How about hemoglobin? Well, I'm inside the red blood cell. And where's the red blood cell? It's in the blood vessel. Where do I find blood vessels? In the epidermis? Shut up. Only in the dermis and underneath. If you found this video helpful, you will adore my renal physiology course on my website, medicosisperfectionetis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionetis, where medicine makes perfect sense.